Now we're entering the Paleolithic wing. Can I have your attention, please? Thanks. We like to call this couple Dick and Jane. They lived in the European Upper Paleolithic between 10 and 40,000 years ago. They're Cro-Magnons. You may have seen them on history. Hey, they look like you. <laughs> These two were discovered in 1868 in Dordogne, France. They were named after the rock shelter in which they were found. Cro meaning cave, Magnol meaning grave. It's so easy, a caveman. Sir, stop. stop. The Geico commercials, yeah, we get it. Are they your parents? No, Missy. My parents live in South Florida in a condo. Do you have to club your food like they did? <laughs> they ate a diet of grains, wild carrots, beets, turnips, and meat. Hey, I shop in a organic mart. Where'd you get your facts, some TV commercial? Yeah, why not? Sir, you came with your family to learn something? So listen, I'll teach you. Next time when you're in the Louvre, consider this. If they hadn't invented painting, Da Vinci would have been considered some eccentric inventor. No, scratch that. He wouldn't have been anything at all because they also invented inventing. How about another thing? If it wasn't for them, you'd all be standing here naked. Why? because they figured out how to turn fibers into clothes. Music, calendars, domesticated animals like a dog Fido. They did it all. When you wanna experience something, dive in, go to the source, ask someone like me, or better yet, turn on history. Don't rely on TV commercials. They'll just embarrass yourself. Why should we listen to you? because I spent two whole Saturdays in my free time to learn how to do this. Yeah, do you know? Okay, exits that way, tour's over, bye-bye. Excuse me, I just wanted to say thanks. I learned a lot. Well, that's why I volunteer every Saturday afternoon for people like you. It was great. Do you like that? <laughs> Come on. I know a place. Okay. It's the Glickstein Schumacher. Memorial Gemological Hall. The minerals are complex and beautiful. Just like